Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's video I'm starting a series which I call underrated productivity apps. And mostly I will cover note-taking apps in this series or things that can work as note-taking apps. But the first app we are going to talk about is one of my all-time favorite applications. I used this for such a long time. First when I started my social media journey several years ago then again when i started this youtube channel i used this a lot as you can see this is youtube video and blog ideas and i have been playing around with this app for such a long time and it just keeps getting better so let's jump into this inside of Inside of this application, you have different boards and you can create several boards for each one of your projects or in my case, my YouTube channel, blog and so on. Uh, I could choose to have multiple boards or I could choose to have one social media board where I use labels to differentiate between things. But this app offers a lot more. This looks like just a basic Kanban board app, but it has a different views as well. So you can get this as a table view. You can see it as a calendar view. You can add a dashboard view inside of here. So this is becoming more of a full-fledged project manager for smaller teams. We have the timeline view as well. Uh, like this uh, so you could have a timeline view here as well or you could just stay with the basic board view so the different views are available on the pro plans which i will come back to later uh, i will talk more about the pricing later uh, and as i said we have multiple different views here and they keep developing the app even though it is one of those older applications that has been around for a while it got acquired by atlassian which creates great software i have tested both jira and confluence as well and i am right now working a lot inside of confluence uh, but as you can see we can create ourselves a new board and you can choose a background for this board you can choose a color you can give this a title and you can choose the visibility of this so let's say you were in a team you could create yourself uh, a private board as well or you could create a public board that everyone can see they also have templates here so everything from one-on-one -on -one meeting agenda agile board template um, design huddle company overview and you could actually take notes inside of this as well so let's say i wanted to I wanted to write a little more about my YouTube video. I could just go in here and I could start writing. And inside of here, you actually have backslash commands and you can add a lot of things, everything from a heading to a divider, bullet list, code snippet, emojis, images, uh, links, and so on. And there are keyboard uh, shortcuts as well. And you could also add a cover image to this to make your boards more visual, which make this makes this a good visual note-taking app. So I could add a cover right here and I could choose one from Unsplash or I could upload my own, which is what I will do. This is from one of my recent YouTube videos, the thumbnail. And as you can see, this transforms it to a more visual board, which is really, really cool. Um, and I can jump back into here. I can add custom fields as well. So I could add priority, I could add status, risk, effort, or I could create a whole nother um, field. And I could choose from checkbox, date, drop down, number, and text. So you could add multiple uh, different um multiple different let's call them fields uh, custom fields that's what they're called uh, and as i said you can write inside of this as well and format things inside of this and actually take notes inside of this app 
and you get the general databases here as well. So this table view is basically a database view in many other applications that have this. You also do have filters in here. So I could add different filters. I could add my labels here so I could see things based on what's uh, a YouTube video. I could see things based on what's a blog post, what's a TikTok video. So I could go on and I could create these filters inside of here as well. We also have AI inside of the application. You can add automations there based on rules, but buttons, or you could have email reports gen uh, generated. This is probably best for teams, but buttons and rules can be cool automations for an individual as well. We also have power ups, which is basically like integrations with different applications. So you can integrate things like Google Drive, Slack and more. Uh, Microsoft Teams is something uh, that a lot of people use and it just offers a lot. You can also share these. So you could share this with a coworker or you could share this with someone you're collaborating with or you could even publish the whole board if you wanted to. Uh, I like the calendar view, that is great. I like, I generally like most things about this app. Uh, you can have a basic Kanban which you can turn into multiple things. As I said, many templates here, but let's take a look at the pricing of this because it is pretty reasonably priced with the standard uh, coming in at 5 USD each month. The free plan gives you unlimited cards, but you only get 10 boards per workspace which is a lot of boards for an individual user, but you get unlimited power-ups per board, unlimited storage, 10 megabytes per file, 250 workspace command runs per month, custom background stickers, unlimited activity log, assignee and due dates. They have a great iOS and Android app as well. Uh, and for the standard plan you get unlimited boards advanced checklists custom fields unlimited storage with 250 megabyte file size thousand workspace commands single board guests and saved searches so it is pretty reasonably priced i would say that overall this is probably good for small teams and individuals for bigger teams this might be really difficult to work with but it works amazingly for individuals you can even use this as sort of a more visual note-taking app i use labels a lot in this so i have all of my social media um, channels right here and i can label them that's how i used to use this and i had to do doing done uh, inside of here but you could add more lists right here. So let's say you wanted one for editing. I am just showing you an example based on what I would use it for, but you could uh, absolutely use it for other things than social media management, but I could add editing, I could add reviewing, uh, and I could keep on adding this. Uh, I could keep on adding this lists until I am happy with the layout of this uh, whole uh, workspace or this whole board and as I said you can add a new board right here and some of the templates here are really really good so they have a Misan plus personal productivity which is a really cool template right here uh, and it also explains how you can use the template as well. And I love the background colors and everything is just looking really beautiful inside of here. You could create a GTD system based on this, uh, or you could even use the second brain system inside of here as well. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be many more underrated productivity apps coming up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And I hope to see you again quite soon.